Um, hi, my name is Jessica Stover. I'm with Networks for Training and Development um, in Pennsylvania. I um, am out of our Sunbury office in central Pennsylvania, about an hour above Harrisburg, and then we also have an office down in Valley Forge. Um, I actually only recently joined Resna um, this, this past winter. Um, however, I've held the ATP now for almost two and a half years, roughly. I just recertified. It was very exciting for me. Um, and prior to that, um, I've, been, I've been on the Resna lift serves for a number of years, usually as a lurker, kind of sitting mm -hmm. back, taking it all in, learning from people. Um, when I have asked questions on the lift serve, um, the response has been overwhelmingly supportive, people just reaching out and, and sharing their information freely um, and very openly, which was really refreshing. Um, this being my first conference, um, it's been overwhelming in a very good way. Um, people are kind and open and generous with their knowledge and their information. Um, and that's not something that happens every day. Um, you know, you see sometimes quite the opposite occurring. Um, just asking, thinking it's a silly question, and we know there's no silly questions, but asking people questions and people giving honest, honest responses and open feedback. And, and it's been a really wonderful experience. Be here. So why this year? Did why you decide this year? to do it first? Well, being in Pennsylvania, it's, it's like yeah. literally in our back, backyard. Being in Baltimore, it's like, well, how could we not come being so close? But I hear it's in Seattle next year, so I like Seattle a lot. <laughs> so maybe we'll have to make the trip out to Seattle as well. But it was literally, it, it was an opportunity, uh, just great geographic proximity that we couldn't pass up. What, uh, what presentations uh, did you like? and? What activities have you have you done? Um, well, we did attend um, the first timers reception, yeah. and I I honestly I wasn't sure I wanted to come, thinking, oh gosh, do I want to admit it's my first conference at Resna? I wasn't sure I was going to go. I was really tired, and um, I did go along with um, my counterparts that came with me from Networks, and um, it was just so much fun. Um, immediately, at least I did. I don't know if others did. It just you felt some ownership within Resna. Yeah. You know, you kind of felt this ownership that you were a part of it, um, and that everyone was just there. Just you were part of a family almost. It was just kind of this really cool experience. It really was. Um, so that was really neat. The other, the other session, I've liked all the sessions. The one that really has stood out to me the most yesterday afternoon, there was a session on robotics and AAC. And just the manner in which they're implementing this with small kids and the variety of um, implementation that's possible with this is, is really remarkable. And um, the session was really honestly overflowing. Um, so it was really well attended and uh, you could kind of see the light bulbs going off in the room above people's heads and people having great aha moments and, and thinking about further application. Um, so being able to hear the research that's being done currently and then being able to take that back and apply it is really exciting. Really exciting. Yeah. Good. Um, can, um, do you... Uh, sorry. Now, well, no, it's fine. It's, <laughs> I'm sorry that I don't have better prompts. No, um, no, I'm just, I didn't have prepared with anything. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, now, that you now that you've said, you know, it kind of feels like a family, how do you feel the future, your, your future with Resna is going to um, be? Obviously, I want to stay involved as I have been um, with potentially, you know, I've already been roped into some special interest groups, uh -huh. and I think I've been roped into a committee, <laughs> 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 which is great, which is really cool. Um, I think just continuing, um, stretching myself a little bit, trying to learn more. Um, obviously, the continued, the continuing networking opportunities that exist, um, just reaching out potential collaborations. Um, one of the reasons I got into this work um, was, um, you know, I, I, I took a couple courses that Networks was offering, um, met people within Networks that was that were doing assistive technology work, uh, specifically Rosa McAllister, who you may have mentioned earlier. She's the one that really started me on this path. Um, and doing work around assistive technology with folks who have some really significant challenges in their lives, specifically intellectual disabilities, um, folks that were kind of, um, who are being seen as does not and cannot communicate. We came from 
the idea that everyone communicates. We just have to listen, how we have to listen differently. And then how can we help people in teams explore what assistive technology is out there that could help enhance the person's life um, and just do some exploration of, you know, there's these options, there's those options, here are some next steps, uh, connecting with a speech and language pathologist for then a formal evaluation, but helping people to see that the possibilities are really remarkable and endless, um, and, and really anything is possible. Um, and that's what's driven me then to be, I guess, this is the, the pinnacle so far of bringing <laughs> me you here today, <laughs> the long path. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a, it's, a, it's a passion, and that passion comes through here at Resna. Yeah. All the way around, yeah. So it's been great. So, yeah. Are you, are you okay. excited? Sorry, I, I got one more. <laughs> no, 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 at least no. one. Are you excited to kind of jump in now that, because you said you were kind of lurking on the poster, or on the listserv, and I'm probably still now that you've been here. I'm probably going to be a lurker on the listserv, I'll be, I'll be very honest, unless I have a very burning, burning question. But I can actually, since I'm here, I can get the burning questions kind of answered face to face. Um, but with listservs, I've always been kind of a lurker. <laughs> Unless, you know, something really, I don't know, just I, I have to ask, one of those burning questions I have to ask. Um, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. And are you excited to go back to where you work? Oh, and, gosh, yeah. and we'll talk about Resna, like, oh, yeah. and bring, yeah. do you there's, have a lot to bring back? There's, there's been um, so many folks I've been able to meet. Um, you know, you see the names either in journal articles, or you'll see them on the listserv, or here and there, and then you may, finally to put names and faces together has been really remarkable. And I've been telling a couple folks of, you know, I'll meet so-and-so or so-and-so, and I'll kind of feel like, you know, it's like rock star has entered the room for me, I kind of get a little starstruck. <laughs> um, I'm a tech nerd, so <laughs> work with me. <laughs> um, but, you know, talking with folks, um, them asking, you know, hearing what we do, how we do it, getting confirmation from them that, you know, having that collaborative model um, and, and that, and that team-based model of, you know, reaching out to others, because the work that we do, we don't know everything, so reaching out and connecting with others and having that confirmation from people here has um, been very empowering. Um, and, and yeah, going back with these new ideas, I'm thinking now, how can I build a robot? <laughs> I really want to build a robot now. Just. And, and, you know, and yeah, and, uh, and, and see what we can do with that robot. You know, it'd be a little robot. But... Okay, well, you'll re report back when you get that robot. Oh, I, I will be. I will be reporting back. But, you know, just um, you know, yeah, sharing sharing the excitement. Not that. Um, you know, the the flame was dwindling or anything, but it's always to get nice to get re-energized. Um, and with any conference, I think that happens. Um, it happened for me straight off the bat with that first timers meet and greet. So okay. I, I was just, I was so excited. I'm like, you have to meet this person. You have, you know, I'm trying to, I'm connecting, helping people connect, and um, people are doing the same for me. And um, it's been, it's been really cool. It's awesome. Um, and one thing that I, I'm sorry, but I forgot to put something <laughs> out there before, and that is that unlike. Um, you know, your, your CSUN, ATIA, and some of them have more blindness and, and quote unquote visual impairment type stuff. But what I liked about this was that everything, everything is there. And, and to me, um, I really don't need to know a whole lot more about blindness technology. What I want to do is I want to find out how we can take things from each other's disciplines and apply it to our own and I like to be the fly on the wall that says hey wait a minute does your technology work for people who have visual challenges hmm good question sometimes people don't know and there's such a collaborative and collegial atmosphere around here it's so exciting and invigorating mm -hmm. yeah. that's great yeah. We're good? Cool. Yep. Anything I think that's more? it. Okay.